Hi all, this is the third episode of many more videos as a supplement for your studies in anatomy and physiology. Let's start. Okay, what is the best definition of cataplexy? Is it a disorder where the person is having trouble falling asleep? Is it the sudden loss of muscle tone while the person is awake, which can lead to voluntary muscle control? Is it a sleep disorder where there is an extreme tendency to fall asleep when relaxing? Or is it a condition whereby there is an irresistible urge to move the legs, especially at night time? So the answer is B. So during cataplexy, there is a sudden loss of voluntary muscle control brought on by a strong emotional trigger such as excitement or laughing. Signs might be a droop in the eyebrows or slurred speech. It can be a loss of ability to talk, move, or keep the eyes open. But the person remains conscious while this is happening. Next question. Which muscle is responsible for involuntary movements? Is it the skeletal muscles? Is it the smooth muscles? Or is it the cardiac muscle? So the answer is smooth muscle. The function of smooth muscle is contraction. They are controlled by autonomic nervous system. Smooth muscle contraction are involuntary. Example of this is stomach contracts after eating, squeezes the food inside the stomach to break down the foods in a smaller pieces for easy digestion. It also stimulates the contractility of urinary and reproductive system. Next, what is the function of ribosomes? Is it for protein synthesis in the cell? Is it to break and digest macromolecules? Is it to make the energy for the cell? Or it is responsible for transporting, modifying, and packaging proteins? That's the ribosome. So, and the answer is to protein synthesis in the cell. So the ribosomes are found floating within the cytoplasm or may be attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Its main function is to convert genetic code into amino acid sequence and build a protein polymer from amino acid monomers. It synthesizes protein in the cell. Okay, next question. Which cranial nerve is responsible for visual, which is the sight? Is it the trigeminal nerve? Is it the trochlear nerve? Is it the olfactory nerve? Or is it the optic nerve? It is the optic nerve. So optic nerve or cranial nerve number two is a um, central nervous system structure. It is a bundle of more than one million nerve fibers. It is ensheathed in the three meningeal layers arising from diencephalon. It transmits sensory information for vision in the form of electrical impulses from the eye to the brain. Next question. What is the function of vitamin K? It helps to regulate the process of blood coagulation. Is it to help the immune system? It helps with reproduction or is it to help with growth and development? So the answer, the answer is to help to regulate the blood coagulation. So without vitamin K, our bodies will be unable to control clot formation. So vitamin K assists to make four out of 13 proteins needed for blood clotting. The four clotting factors are factor 10, factor 5, factor 1, and factor 13. Okay, next question. What is the function of the stomach wall? It controls the blood pressure. It produces gastric juice that helps digest the protein. It, um, it helps to secrete bile. Or is it to remove waste products from the blood? So there is the stomach wall. 
Now the answer is to produce gastric juice that helps digest the protein. So the stomach wall helps to digest food. It contains glands that produce enzymes and acids. When the stomach wall squeezes the food, it helps to digest the food and move them into the small intestine. Next question. Where do fertilization of ovum by spermatozoa occurs? Is it in the vagina? Is it in the cervix? Is it in the fallopian tubes or is it in the uterus? The answer is the fallopian tubes. So fallopian tubes are, between, are in between the ovaries and the uterus in the female pelvis. Their main function is to channel the oocyte, which is the developing egg, for transport and fertilization. Next question. What structure is located at the neck of the bladder and surrounds the urethra in mile? Is it the prostate? Is it the vas deferens? Is it the epididymis? Or it's the squarum? So the answer is the prostate. So prostate is located below the bladder and in front of the rectum in male reproductive organ. Its main function is to create fluids in the semen and send it, sends it through the urethra to ejaculate. It also helps in the hormone production and to regulate urine flow. Next question. Which cranial nerve is responsible for taste? Is it the trigeminal and facial nerves, trochlear and abducens, facial and glossopharyngeal, or is it the trigeminal and glossopharyngeal? So the answer is the facial and glossopharyngeal. There are, there are actually three cranial nerves that are associated with taste. They are facial nerve, which is cranial nerve number seven, and it provides fibers to the anterior two thirds of the tongue. The glossopharyngeal nerve, which is the cranial nerve nine, this provides fibers to the posterior third of the tongue. And the last one is vagus nerve, which is cranial nerve 10, but it, this controls phonation and swallowing. So from the choices above, the answer is C. Next question. What are the four distinct colonic regions of the large intestine? Is it the jejunum, prostate, ureter, and anus? Is it the anus, duodenum, appendix, gallbladder? Is it the duodenum, ascending colon, descending colon, and rectum? Or is it the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and sigmoid colon? So the answer is D. The large intestine includes the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and sigmoid colon. The function of large intestines are the formation, storage, and elimination of feces the absorption of vitamins, the absorption of water and electrolytes, and the production of antibodies. Next question. What is the largest organ in the body? Is it the liver, the skin, the heart, or the head? So the largest organ is the skin. The liver is the heaviest, the skin and its derivatives such as the nails, sweat, hair and oil glands are part of the integumentary system. The main function of the skin is for protection or barrier from external factors such as temperature or UV radiation, chemicals or hazardous substances, and it also prevents the body from loss of moisture. So that's the end of this video. Please like and subscribe if you like to see more of these videos. Make a comment or a request topics that you want to see to help your study for exams. And good luck.